I know that many of you out there are doing 3D inside of AutoCAD and I commend you for that. In AutoCAD 2013, you'll find that some of the most frequently used 3D editing commands have been improved. Let me show you. If you do any 3D work at all, of course you know press pull. Now in the past, press pull has only allowed us to select one boundary at a time. But now you'll see that there's a new multiple option that allows you to select as many boundaries as you want. I'm going to go ahead and select a few boundaries. Hit an enter. And you'll see that it's working with all of them. And a simple click. And there you have it. Let me show you a couple of other additions to the press pull command. I'm going to go to a different view. And here you'll see that we have some 3D splines. It used to be that press pull only worked on closed boundaries. But now you'll find that press pull also works on open curves. Let me go ahead and go into the press pull command one more time. And I'm going to select this 3D spline. I'm going to do the multiple option again because I love it. <laughs> select the other 3D spline. And you'll see that both of the splines are extruding. I'm going to go ahead and type in a value of 60 so I know exactly what I'm going to get. And you'll see, no problem, it extruded both of those open 3D splines. There's one more change to the press pull command. Let's go to another view. So I'm going to go ahead and do a press pull on this surface right here. Pull it out. No big surprise, it works the way you expect. But watch what happens if I hold my control key down as I select the boundary. Now as I extrude it, can you see that it's continuing to taper? It's continuing the angle of the original object. Really nice new feature in Press Pull inside of AutoCAD 2013. Let me show you another nice new feature in 3D. I'm going to go down to Quick View Drawings. I'm going to switch over to this drawing over here. Perfect. The next tool has to do with surface modeling, a great new tool called Extract Isolines. It's really just as simple as selecting any surface, pick this one right here, and you'll see that as I move my cursor along the surface, it is allowing me to extract the isolines. Very powerful tool. You can tell it that you want to reverse the direction if you want to, and it will start to go the other way. Sometimes you want to draw on a surface. I love this new spline option. It allows me basically to do some free form drawing on top of the surface, which in the past has been very difficult to do. I think you'll find that the new 3D enhancements inside of AutoCAD 2013 are going to make you want to load that trial version and try them out for yourself.